Today's intermediate move is called the caterpillar. And before you start doing this move, you need to make sure that you're very comfortable hanging in a hands-free inversion with your body hanging to the front of the pole. What I mean by this is you need to be comfortable hanging in your basic inversion like this without worrying about sliding, without any discomfort, without any fear at all. Okay, very important because you're gonna to have to be able to bring your hands to the pole for your caterpillar. And if you're not comfortable in your hands free, then you can have problems. So, if you're not there yet, go back and try that. Make sure you're really comfortable with that. If you are comfortable, here's what the caterpillar looks like. So you're in your basic inversion and coming up and in. So there's just your caterpillar. All right, so what we're going to do is try this from a standing position so you understand where your hands are going and what your body is doing when you're upside down. Now I like to have, uh, my right hand is my dominant hand, so I like to have that as the arm that is pushing away from the floor. If you prefer to have your other hand towards the floor, for example, like when you're in your butterfly, you have your left hand down if you're doing your butterfly on the right, then you're going to switch where your hands go. So for me, because I want my right hand to be pointing towards the floor, I'm going to take my right hand, so it's eye level, and my left hand will be belly button height, okay? This is gonna give you the perfect position to push away from the pole and get yourself right into that tuck that you need um, so that you're in your forearm grip right to the side of your chest, not to the center. So when I end up, from this way, as so you can see, right hand eye bubble, left hand belly button. I'm going to turn, push away, so the heels of the hand are pushing my body away from the pole. When I come into my butterfly, I'm going to tuck right into the armpit of my left side. Now, if you're doing it the opposite way, again, you're still going to mark your eyes, so the left hand will come in line with your eyes. Right hand is going to be belly button height. You're going to twist and push, so that the heels of the hands push away. You're going to come down, and this time you're going to tuck your right armpit into the pole. Now, when you go to do that, you really got to wrap your forearm around the pole, and you can't do that if you're gripping, okay? If you're holding tight like this, you can't wrap your arm. So as you come up into your position, you need to release your fingers and wrap your arm around so that it gets nice and tight and towards your body. Now, this move, you want it to feel very secure because this is going to lead into other things like your Aisha and this, and you'll notice that if you get the right position, suddenly your legs feel light and like you don't need to really hold on with your legs anymore because you have a great position with your arms. Whatever arm ends up towards the floor when you're upside down must stay straight and you need to keep power pushing away from the floor. That's going to give you your support. It's very important. Okay, so once you have all that marked out on the ground, and you decide what hand is going to be pushing towards the ground. When you go up into your invert, okay, so you're here, and you're hanging, I'm gonna take my right hand eye level, left hand to my belly button, and push. Now, this is the first thing you wanna do. Where a lot of people make mistakes is they try and go up and push at the same time. You can't do that. You have to push away first, and then, once you're comfortable with that, then your hips go up and you tuck into the armpit, okay? So again, you're in your inverted move, mark your eyes and your belly button, very important. Push away, now draw those hips right up, push, 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 and tuck in, right into the armpit. Now here my legs feel nice and light, I'm pushing hard away from the floor to come out, squeeze the knees again so that you get it between the thighs, and you can roll out. And that's your butterfly, I mean your caterpillar. <laughs>